tides. The second type of movement that occurs in oceans is called a tide. The alternate rise and fall of the ocean waters twice in 24 hours is known as a tide. When the water rises to its highest level, covering much of the shore, it is said to be at a high tide. While when the water falls to its lowest level, it is said to be at a low tide. Tides are caused by the gravitational pull of the moon and to some extent the pull of the sun on the earth's surface. The moon exerts gravitational pull on the earth as it orbits around it and this has a great effect on the ocean waters because water is liquid and can freely move about. The moon's attraction causes the water from other regions to pile up on the side nearest the moon, which is known as an ordinary high tide. At the same time, a counter bulge occurs on the opposite side of the earth, which also results in a high tide on the other end. This high tide is to be found in the centrifugal force which develops to counter the centripetal force of the Earth's rotation. Between these two areas of high tides are areas of lower tides since the moon's pull draws water from these parts. The high tide begins at moonrise and reaches the maximum level when the moon reaches the highest point in the sky. As the moon starts its westward journey, the low tide begins and it reaches its maximum level when the moon sets. This periodic rise of tide water for about six hours followed by a fall in the water for about six hours constitutes the cycle of tides. One high tide and one low tide are completed in 12 hours and 25 minutes, which means the high tide and the low tide are observed twice a day. The moon rises about three quarter of an hour later every day and therefore the high tide on one day occurs about 45 to 50 minutes later than the corresponding tide on the previous day. The moon revolves in its orbit around the earth with an angular velocity of approximately 12.2 degrees per day. In the same direction in which the earth is rotating on its axis with an angular velocity of 360 degrees per day. Therefore, on each day, a point on the rotating Earth must complete a rotation of 360 degrees plus 12.2 degrees in order to catch up with the Moon. Since 15 degrees is equal to one hour of time, this extra amount of rotation equals to 12.2 degrees each day which would require a period of time equal to 12 degrees upon 15 degrees into 60 minutes per hour or 48.8 minutes. On an average it requires about 50 minutes longer each day for a sublunar point on the rotating Earth to regain this position directly 
along the major axis of the moon's tidal force envelope where the tide raising influence is at its maximum. In consequence, the recurrence of a tide of the same phase and a similar rise would take place at an interval of 24 hours and 50 minutes after the preceding occurrence. The average difference in the water level between high and low tides at any place is called the amplitude or the range of the tide. The range of the tides at any location is subject to certain variable factors. The first factor is the position of the moon and the sun. When the earth, moon and the sun are practically in the same straight line, the combined gravitational pull of the sun and moon causes the higher than normal high tides called spring tides. Spring tides occur on full moon and new moon days, which means that these tides occur twice a month. During the spring tide, all the water on the Earth's surface is pulled towards the moon on the near side and pushed away on the far side, which results in tidal bulges at its nearest and the farthest point. When the moon is in its first and last quarter, the sun, the moon and the earth are at right angles and thus the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon counteracts each other's effect. Because of this, the high tide is lower and the low tide is higher than at other times. These are called neap tides. The second factor on which the range of the tide is dependable is the distance of Earth from the Moon and the Sun. Since the Moon follows an elliptical path, the distance between the Earth and the Moon varies throughout the month by approximately 31,000 miles. Once each month, when the moon is closest to the earth, that is at perigee, the tide generation forces are higher than usual, thus producing above average ranges in the tides. Approximately two weeks later, when the moon is farthest from the earth, that is at apogee, the lunar tide raising force is smaller and the tidal ranges will be less than average. Similarly, when the Earth is closest to the Sun, that is at perihelion, around January 2nd of each year, the tidal ranges get enhanced. When the Earth is farthest from the Sun, that is at aphelion, around July 2nd, the tidal ranges reduce. A high spring tide occurs when the moon is in perigee or when the sun is in perihelion.